Okay, so welcome to day three. We are going to have an activity first before the concept. We are going. I am going to play a small video of about one minute eleven second, and the participant who are here live will then share their observation of what they thought is happening in the video. And afterward, we will discuss a very powerful concept. So let's get started. I am playing the video now. So Alka ji is just joining. So Alka ji, we are going. I am going to play a video right now, and I want you to observe what is happening in the video, and then I am going to come back to every one of you. to share your observation and after the observation i'm going to share a very powerful concept which is related to story writing okay so let's get started there is no audio so just focus on the video part all right so the video is done now okay let's start with sachin ji what did you observe in the video basically there are three figures i could see one rectangular figure is there one triangle is there and one circle is there that's the first observation that i'm facing secondly there is some, i probably believe that the rectangular portion is a, some kind of track or something like that okay uh where uh, no, one figure goes inside probably a temptation is there no? something like that temptation mm -hmm. is there goes inside and the real that it has got trapped that is what it is. then the mm -hmm. other figure comes and the figure comes and one triangular figure probably tries to rescue all the remaining two figures and that is how that's what i believe that's that is what i could understand okay. yeah thank you okay amazing okay venkat what were your observation yes good morning to all uh it's uh, i felt that it's, it's related to my journey uh i searched one thing and i find and reached that place after reaching and i wanted to go out from that place so that's the first triangle first it goes to inside and after a few seconds it reach out and fight with others then there also nothing there so f f want to enter again into this rectangle box that is my observation also brilliant how about you dr alka what were your observation unmute yourself getting the hang of it but one thing i saw was the triangle first the circle went inside then the triangle went inside then they both came out and then what happened i didn't understand and everything broke after that is it a result of uh, conflict is it a result of uh, so if the three could have got together maybe they would have been something better if they could have collaborated better there was a friendship between the three of them so i felt that there was a discordant between these three people and that is why that house broke i looked at it as that a house that was looking like a house to me awesome see everybody has got different observations so time to know the secret and the secret is let me present the truth behind this so i'm going to put put the version of the story of what this uh, person who created this study what they put up the story and then the 
real reason. So the story in that person, which is somebody named Nick Michelian something, he said that once upon a time there was a big bad triangle who lived alone in his house. One day he happened to see a happy couple, a little triangle with a little circle gliding past. He immediately took a fancy to the little circle as he was so pretty. So he came out of his house and attacked the little triangle. Frightened at the little circle, hit inside the house. The little triangle defended him, but the large one was too much for him, and he managed to chase him away. With his rival gone, the lit the large triangle went home to claim his prize. The poor little circle retreated, while the large circle tried to corner her. In the meantime, the little triangle had come back, and he cautiously opened the door of the house. Seizing her chance, the little circle dashed out of the house, and together the two of them locked the large bully inside. Happy to be reunited, they danced around each other. Then the large triangle managed to get out and started chasing them around the house. But the little triangle and the circle was too fast for him, and they escaped. Left alone, the large triangle threw a tantrum and smashed up his house in frustration. Now this is the version by the original author. Now let me tell you the secret. This is just some figures, some geometrical shapes, who, who somebody is moving around. So what is the po point of doing all of this? Is that our brain is designed to develop stories. All of you saw the same video, but all of you came up with your own stories. This proves that our brain actually, our DNA actually loves to create stories and that is the way we observe and learn. And this study is called, um, the study was originally done in 1945, I am just checking the name. It is called the An Experimental Study of Apparent Behavior by the American Journal of Psychology. 57, 1944 was the study, this was done since then and this has been used in lot of psychological tests because what is going inside is what people will see in that story and somewhere something will come out of it. How many of you are just blown away by knowing these were just shapes? Venkat, do you want to say something? Go ahead. Yes, it's a different perspective, so that's I understand. <laughs> the yes. story also interesting. Exactly. So when you understand this concept, think about why. And this session is all about understanding why storytelling is so important. We are in the week one and foundation stage, and that is why I'm bringing this small exercise. That. We sometimes feel that it's not important, but just looking at these figures and and shapes moving around, you can figure out that there is a story we are trying to cook. And sometimes what happens is as a presenter also, as a speaker, presenter and storyteller, if you don't tell the story, your audience will anyways make up a story. So it's better you tell the story versus they making up story. That's another aspect to it. Rajesh ji, I think you are probably at the end of the session. We are almost done. Uh, so I will make that uh, uh, video available afterwards. Uh, any takeaway? We are gonna. This is going to be a short session. Any takeaway before I stop uh, the recording? So we interpret any situation in our life with our own value systems, with our own belief systems, with our Correct. own journey of our own life absolutely absolutely 100% so what is the takeaway for you sachin ji it's a perception what we have you know there are six yes. mental faculties i believe and perception is one of the powerful faculties and i believe that how you perceive one particular thing because as you rightly mentioned two two people two uh, uh, my fellow participants were there now all of us are different versions and we were having a prima facie only and yeah. when we go inside which you have a lot of clarity that brought us into picture back to you. awesome thank you sachin okay venkat what is your major takeaway yes uh, as per our belief system we always stand in that place 
and uh, we speak in that way we do not uh, agree other person's perspective yeah. many times so this is the take away from the story so think about other perspective absolutely great so i hope you got certain values within next like 10 minutes and go ahead and apply this and understand that even if you're seeing the same thing other people may have different version of story running in their mind and it's about how you can make sure that you and the audience are in sync so have a great day and we are going to meet tonight we going to have a guest speaker dr vyomesh vach who is going to talk about balanced emotions so make sure you tune in at 7:30 pm and i'm going to stop the recording and for those who are watching i know some of you watch online and don't come here because of the timing please write in the comments or create a video and post it in the group what were your observation from the video take care everyone keep learning keep growing and keep going out of your comfort zone because i won't be coming in the evening i mean that's all right here yeah. that's fine yeah. i understand Thanks. no problem